in the first video of solid state we studied about the types of solids the types of crystalline solids are of four types out of that we did the first two that is we studied about the ionic crystals that is ionic solids and the second was the covalent network solids or crystals the third crystalline solid that we have to study today is molecular solids the word itself tells us that the constituent particles which are present in the crystalline solid these particles are nothing but they are molecules but within the molecules there is covalent bond present molecules are made up of atoms in the atoms there is covalent bond present between them the molecules are held together by intermolecular force of attraction so depending on the intermolecular force of attraction we further classify the molecular solids into following types out of that first one is a polar molecular solid we also call it as a weak dipole dipole interaction solid that is solids which have weak dipole dipole interaction this word is given in the book that is they are polar molecules they are type of covalent solids but the molecules are polar molecules polar molecules means the molecules which have positive and negative poles in them for example we have hcl h2o so2 they contain a permanent dipole moment this is about polar molecular solids so they are having permanent dipole moment that is the two atoms are separated by positive and negative charges which give them poles positive and negative poles the second type of molecular solid is non polar molecular solid we have examples such as co2 h2 cl2 ch4 now in this type of solid the polar molecules are developed but they are very weak they have got very weak interaction between them so they are sought to be non polar in nature polarity is very very low they are weak they have weak polarity so they are considered to be non polar molecular solids they become they don't develop poles because of that they are not good conductors of heat and electricity while polar molecular solids are good conductors of heat and electricity there is a point when you read this you will find a point that they are good conductors of heat and electricity while non polar molecular solids they are poor conductors they have low mp as compared to polar molecular solids and the force that is present between them are weak interactive forces such as these forces are called as london forces or weak dispersion forces these are weak forces of interaction the third type of molecular solid is hydrogen bonded molecular solid in this type of molecular solid in the book it is given intermolecular hydrogen bonds that is the molecular solids which contain h bonding in them we exact we have example of water in it because water is a molecule water is a molecule that is containing hydrogen bonds in it it is given here bands by mistake it's bond in case of water molecule you find that एक वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल मधला एच एंड दुसरे मॉलिक्यूल मधला ऑक्सीजन मधे अ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड इज डेवलप्ड इट्स एन इंटरैक्टिव फोर्स दैट इज प्रोड्यूस ड्यू टू पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव चार्ज द पॉजिटिव चार्ज इज ऑफ हाइड्रोजन हेन्स दिस टाइप ऑफ बॉन्ड इज कॉल्ड एज हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड सो ज्या मॉलिक्यूलर सॉलिड्स मधे हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड इज प्रेजेंट such molecular solids are hydrogen bonded molecular solids so this is about the three types of covalent solids i'm sorry molecular solids that is you have the molecular solids having weak dipole dipole interaction that is polar solids 
in some molecular solids you have weak london forces or weak dispersion forces that is when you consider non polar molecular solids and third is the molecular solids which have hydrogen bonding in them like in water these are the three types of molecular crystals or molecular solids the fourth type of crystalline solid is metallic solid or you also call it as metallic crystal the metallic solids or metallic crystals contain metallic bond in them now here the picture that you can see is a clear picture of metallic bond in this type of bonding you will find that the metal the circles that you see with positive charge these are the metal ions present it may be fe it may be magnesium it may be aluminium it may be copper any metal it has a positive charge and the negative ions which are shown those are electrons so in the metallic solids metal is present in the form of ion and when it is forming ion a cation it is losing electrons so the electrons are present around these positive ions these electrons are delocalized what is the meaning of delocalized delocalized one day they are free to move from one end to another from one place to another so you can say that the metal ions are present in the sea of electrons metal ion present hai ani tarap from all the sides surrounding are the electrons negatively charged electrons metal ions are present in the sea of electrons metal ions are positively charged and the electrons are of course negatively charged so there is a force of attraction present between positively charged metal ion and negatively charged delocalized electrons this force of attraction bonds the metal and the electron and gives formation of metallic bond as these electrons are mobile they are movable from one place to another the metallic crystals become good conductors of heat and electricity metals have the property of malleability and ductility malleability means they can easily be hammered and pressed to form thin sheets and ductile means they can be drawn into wires they can be converted into wires so we have many examples of metallic solids like i gave you copper then fe aluminum calcium lithium sodium gold copper cobalt etc these become example of metallic crystals when you see metal now we'll see the structure of crystal in detail we are studying crystalline solids we have studied about the types of crystalline solids and now we'll enter into the crystalline solid crystalline solid is made up of a basic unit like how in the living body you have cell as the basic unit of living system like that in crystalline solids the basic unit of crystalline solid is a unit cell unit cell so we define a unit cell as a small repeating structural unit of crystalline solid is called unit cell like in our body or in any animal body you find that the cells are connected to form whole body cells form tissues tissues form organ like that in crystalline solid a basic unit cell gets connected to each other forming a big structure of crystalline solid so in the structure you can see the crystalline solid here the crystalline solid that is present that crystalline solid is having a box like structure this crystalline solid when connected to each other is forming a giant network now these repeating unit cells in the space they are connected together forming a crystalline solid 
Now in the big structure that you can see where different unit cells are joined in front of you, the point of intersection, wherever you can see the lines meeting, those are called as the point of intersection. On each point of intersection, there is a particle present. At the particle kind, particle can be ion. In case of ionic solids, particle will be a molecule. In case of molecular solids, particle will be metal ion in metallic solids. So particle could have present hai. This particle is present at the point of intersection of two lines. Upon unit cells join kele. So you will just get lines that you can see in this big structure. Only, only lines are seen. Jithe pan lines intersect hota hai. Jithe pan don line intersect thali. Ki tithe at the meeting point you will find that at the point of intersection it shows. It does not show near in the diagram. But wherever the points are, wherever the lines are meeting, the meeting point for the, it is supposed that a particle is present. So each point at the intersection of line in the unit cell represents a constituent particle which can be an atom or an ion or a molecule and any point at the intersection of line is called as lattice point. Now the particles in a crystal are arranged in definite repeating pattern. See, when we studied the difference between amorphous and crystalline solid, we said that crystalline solids have a definite pattern repeat, hai, which is continuously following the repetition pattern. Amorphous mode arrangement kasa hi hai, random. So, it the particles are arranged in definite repeat, repeating pattern. And the lattice points in crystal lattice are having same environment have identical environment surrounding crystal lattice. What is last lattice point? Lattice point we have seen. Jite jite point of intersection ahe. That point of intersection where the crystal present with a particle present ahe. Point of intersection with the and that point is called as lattice point. So you must remember okay, what is unit cell? What is lattice point? And on the basis of the unit cells the shape of the unit cell we've got some seven types of system crystal system that we'll see in the next topic in the next point